guys, it's Ariel. So today I'm going to be making marscapone cheese, as you read by the title. I know some of you guys are going to be like, this is a little different. I don't think I'm going to be liking marscapone or this whole series. But marscapone cheese is going to kind of help us travel into tiramisu. Now you can buy marscapone, but it is expensive. You can get like a tiny, tiny eight ounce jar of marscapone for a dollar. So you're paying a dollar an ounce when you can make it yourself as much as you want for around three dollars if you buy a lot. Hold on one second. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so, no, you're fine. <laughs> he points up on the sink and that is where my cream is and that's what he wants to drink. <laughs> so let's just jump into this so Kuki doesn't jump up here and drink all my whipping cream. So I actually have two cups of having whipping cream today and you're going to want something like a double you know, a little boiler thing. So, so my mixture is getting up there in temperature, starting to steam a little bit. Not yet as frothy as I would like it. So I'm going to keep stirring this until I see kind of like a more frothy foam on top. And that's when I'm going to add the three teaspoons of the lemon juice. So I turned up the temperature a little bit just to help the process out. So you don't want to go too high because, like I said, you don't want to scorch your uh, mixture, your cream. So we're going to add in our three teaspoons of lemon juice. And you're just going to keep mixing. And yes, you're going to keep the temperature on. You're not going to turn it off yet. And you want this to coat the back of the spoon. So I don't know if you've noticed already, but the back of the spoon is starting to get rather thick. My mixture is actually already thickening up as well within 10 seconds of throwing the lemon juice in. And I'm just going to keep mixing it for at least 5 to 20 minutes. You can see, but it's already coating my spoon in clumps. This is what you're going to want to see and just see how easy it is to make marscapone cheese. After this, it's going to be like a waiting game. You need to let it sit to 8 to 24 hours. The marscapone has um, cooled down quite a bit in the fridge. As you can see, it's coating the pan. It's already thickening up quite a bit. You're going to want some kind of strainer, cheesecloth, and a bowl. It can kind of collect all the extra juices in. I'm also using a really, really light linen to help drain out. and So it just doesn't kind of seep through the holes, the thicker stuff because that's what your cheese is going to be. And I'm going to put you down so you can check out what's going on. I'm just going to make sure I found my bowl so I don't pour it all in the wrong spot. This is just going to pour right in. Look how thick that is. I don't know if you can see that coming out, but it's going to be pretty awesome marscapone cheese. If you'd like to see any more cheese recipes from me, I will be totally up to do it. Marscapone cheese is actually kind of like a cream cheese. When you're making tiramisu, you do not want to substitute cream cheese for marscapone. It will totally knock the flavor off. And I'm one who doesn't love cheesecake. And this isn't going to be thick as store-bought marscapone. It's because you made it at yourself. But I'm going to show you a couple tricks when we do make the tiramisu, how to thicken this stuff up. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This needs to sit in the fridge for around 8 to 24 hours, depending on how thick you want to get it. This is actually going to strain into the bottom bowl all the liquid and the heavy curd is going to stay on top. And there you go, your marscapone cheese. I'm so glad you guys watched and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.